Drag her. Slay her. Sipping on that true tea, hunty. Ugh. Gag. Alert. Who would I really, who do y'all think I would pick? Who would be good for me? Bruce what Willis. Someone, what about someone from your generation, like a Robert Redford? Well, 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 back up. <laughs> Before I call the law up in here in my living room, bitch, you have the Let me dial that one more. Let me dial that one more. Security, please. <laughs> there was a man sitting up in my house with a lot of black <laughs> mascara and eyeshadow on it. They were talking about in this episode, they were talking a lot about how we have to honor the queens from the generation before us who created yeah. what we have. And Alyssa, I just wanted to say thank you for that. As a queen from a generation before me who created this industry, you are the Michelle Berry of the United States. America's oldest living, working. <laughs> I will never forget you, Kennedy, me, Shangela, BB, standing there. Oh, BB's peanut soup. <gasps> BB's. Oh, you couldn't. You couldn't. You not couldn't stop tell her. talking about that peanut soup. I just felt like I was in a Twilight Zone episode where everyone was making a parody of a soup, and she was like, "Well." This recipe is never gonna work. We have to bring the heat up so that the vegetables soften. I'm like, we're not cooking. I'll never forget that soup thing. Sometimes I have memories of that. I'm just like, what, what was that? BB was in the top for that soup. She was? BB won the challenge with me. Ah! Bless I can't heart. breathe! Bless your heart. I can't breathe! That was crazy. I love that that's, you remember everything else, but you do not remember that the two of you won. Maybe Bedola Creme was here, but he left in the middle. I feel like... Okay, Tina and Utica lip sync to the classic My Humps by Black Eyed Peas. What did you think of this lip sync? You know, I did a number to that once. When it first came out, it was Halloween and I dressed as the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Interesting. Um... <laughs> Don't use that. <laughs> Say it again. So you did it a hunchback me, with the hump? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, you know, Quasimodo from the hunchback of Notre, Notre Dame. It was a celebration. A celebration. You just wore no makeup. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was gorgeous from head to toe. But you do live in a bell tower. That's not an I do live in a bell tower. Your drag name, Bell Tower. <laughs> I don't know. Not to be, sh it, it's hard. Cause I did a, when I was with Milk doing the bitchler, he really struggled in that challenge, and when your partner's struggling, it's like, oh my god. Yeah, it's the worst. Yeah. Like now, it's awful. Yeah. <laughs> People say Bianca Del Rio and I are the same, but the thing is, she won Drag Race, and sometimes I tell new jokes. I thought the mime was funny, and I do have a face for it, but I'm not gonna even go there. I was gonna say, representation matters. Did you see yourself on the screen Rep today? Hello, and she had clown face. Bitch, if only you were silent. My peep- Shut up, shut up. Okay, when I exchange her, as I call her Pretty Bob, what do you think? Whoa, <laughs> I think you're accurate. Next up, Ginger Minj. Oh I think it's because she called herself a glamour toad, but I don't know if people remember that. I don't, okay, first of all, bitch glamour wear. This outfit, <laughs> y'all, this outfit is ugly. Ginger Minge. Girl, did you ever save Carol Ann from the poltergeist <laughs> in the TV? <laughs> um, okay. Oh, Trixie, share any insight on competing against Ginger Minge on season seven. She was there. It was a little Target and it was mm -hmm. a little cheap. Get actual foam and do that bigger. It was okay. this big. It looks like a hair clip. On Ginger's head. Yeah. Yeah. Ginger's head is the size of a watermelon. I say that with love. I'm just saying. Which runway of yours would you want to redeem? You can only pick one. I know you're probably gonna want, want to redo a lot of them. But... <laughs> Get your ass. Do you want to do this one? <laughs> Raja O'Hara. I actually really liked this one. You did. Can I ask, would you wear it? What? Quit it. I think she looks a little big around the trunk. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. <laughs> Ooky spooky. Are we living? I'm not living. Hating. I'm hating it. Yeah. I'm hating I absolutely too. hate it. No corset, no boobs. I mean, we're just stretching a heather gray sweatshirt fabric. 
The outfit's fine. I'm a, I'm a little fatigued by like UV fetish wear with no body on. Drag her. Tell me you're a queen in your 20s in New York without telling me you're a queen. Yeah, you're skinny and you're like, I don't need body. You know Ben look from the famous queen from Seattle. Um, <laughs> The IV poison leaf. Poison IV bag. I just, I, I just, I, it was bad. Holy sh was it bad. Me, dog. It's a no for me, dog. A hundred percent. It looks like she put together the look with two eye patches on. <laughs> <laughs> you have been sitting on that one. I know you wrote No, I haven't. I'm living in the moment. I, I love an overconfident bitch. Uh, you know, I thought, it was a look. She came around the corner in the fur and I said, oh great, she stopped shaving. <laughs> it blended beautifully with her back. The, the, it was, wi the, it was strange. the wig, yeah. the wig didn't fit her head. Right, yes. The hairline was back here. Yeah. She was wearing a yarmulke yeah. of yaki. A, y a, y a yakima. Oh, Katya. Now you guys, you have to excuse her shake and go wigs. They're inspired by her 20s. Shaking and going to rehab. Cause math. Of course, you know, our episode of this, when we did it in, Season 10, 11, 10? Could have been. Yeah. Is, I think, the singularly the most rated viewed. Pit stop. Oh. It's the most viewed pit stop ever. I think it was because of my hair, my, that tousled look. Remember that one? I remember the look. I don't think it was the look. <laughs> what I think that's worse than now is the Diana one because she's dead. Because it's Diana. Don't you dare speak ill of Diana. Well, if she wasn't dead before, your performances are killed her. This is really dumb, but it's, it's bad luck to wear peacock feathers on stage. <laughs> The drug addict says it's bad luck to wear peacock. So that's where your life went <laughs> yeah. wrong? You wore peacock's feathers? What, makeup. What are your credentials as an authority on beauty? Well, um, if 34 years of looking stunningly gorgeous isn't enough, I also have an When are you going to start that psychology? <laughs> Production. There's nothing being produced. And didn't even, she didn't even alter the bags in any way. Everybody shut up. If you interrupt me in the middle, I'm going to call you milk, okay? <laughs> wow, milk, you put a lot into this look. What, 2%? <laughs> it was oh, giraffe. giraffe. I was yeah. like, are you from the city? <laughs> yeah. Do you think giraffes and cows are the same? Yeah. Well, she seems like a nice person. <laughs> Her talent number looked more expensive than this one. Damn. I think in the in the 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 Ch Cheryl Canning, she looked gray. Cheryl Canning. What did I say? You said Cheryl Canning, but it's Carol Channing. It's Cheryl Canning. <laughs> That's her name. Say it again. <laughs> Is it not right? What's her What's her character? Cheryl name? Pandora Box. What's the character's name? She Cheryl played? Canning. <laughs> Is that not it? Okay. Is it not the name? <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell you, but it's so funny. The oh okay, Carol Channing. Cheryl. Carol. Got it. I like her character, Channing Tatum. <laughs> yeah. Pandora is a cougar, uh, or tries to be. Um, uh, well, she's a cougar in that you know she lives outside and she's endangered. <laughs> Creep up on your 95-year-old infirm grandmother and go like, <laughs> she will die. So, so do her a favor and just give it a, yeah. <laughs> Wake up, Pearl. Losing a lip sync battle to a girl who talks entirely in vocal fry was quite humbling. So what if I lost a lip sync to a girl who lip syncs like she has a tranquilizer dart sticking out of her neck? She's like, I didn't try. You're like, <laughs> it's like Paul cotton... was right about you. Um, <laughs> the guy thing, okay, here's a, a, a just kidding. Like she remembers my name. Okay. <laughs> oh, if you search me on iTunes, it says Trixie Mattel, and here's my two endeavors. One is this health, this is heartfelt folk album. The other is Geronimo featuring Trixie Mattel and RuPaul. Are you featured on that? Yeah, RuPaul was like. 
Trix and Mattel, I chose Geronimo for you because you have your Native American heritage. I was like, Geronimo oh. was a Native American war hero whose mother, daughter were slaughtered in battle. <sighs> now make your booty bounce. <laughs> Shangela, hey. what if this season we put you in a box? Because you're going to hallelujah. Do <laughs> you know what, bitch? Rewatch that episode. The only two queens who wanted Shangela on the top were me and fucking Thorgy. Yes, yes. I said, Shangela deserves it. Thorgy said, Shangela, the jury, we all said she deserved it. The jury said, you know what? You've got a point. You've got a point. <laughs> Let's talk about the worst, because there's kind of a lot of worst here. Yes. Trinity in that cape, <sighs> looking like the Buka Duka, <laughs> Uka Spooky, Voldemort, Death Eater, I, yeah, Peach I can... Buzz, <laughs> Freaky Deaky, I... <laughs> Baba Dookie, Uki Spooky. <laughs> it was so much. Let me tell you what's great about a reveal. When you don't see it coming. Hello, okay, thank you very much. Crazy dreams? I mean, sometimes I'd have these crazy waking fantasies of like, what if Violet was nice to me? Or like, you know, wild things, crazy things. <laughs> Violet, I don't believe the rumors. I don't believe you took Sharon Needle's crown. I don't believe you're taking this one either. Oh. This is real reading. Now people are like, you called her fat? That's reading. Like, <laughs> yeah. no, this is reading. Yeah. There's the magic to it. It's yeah. a joke unfolding.